The Paris talks have only a 50-50 chance of success, so says this climate chief of environmental campaign group Greenpeace. While a legally binding breakthrough is uncertain, he told Euronews that many nations are now finally taking the issue seriously. It's quite remarkable that over 180 countries now have developed national uh, climate action plans, and that has never happened before. So climate change has become a reality in many countries, and the people and the citizens expect governments to act on climate change. The reason why it's still too slow is that the fossil fuel industry is still preventing progressive policies at home. And in some countries, moves towards cleaner energy such as wind or solar power are proving particularly difficult. It will be very important to listen to uh, President Modi from India and, and the King of Saudi Arabia, whether they are ready uh, for the transformation of the energy sector in their own country. Uh, because those countries are quite dependent both on coal and oil. Um, and those countries have to make a major shift uh, away from fossil fuels towards uh, renewable energies. I'm quite cautious whether this con conference will really give the strong signal uh, needed to the private sector uh, to follow that route. So I would say 50-50 that we will get a good outcome here in Paris. Amid concerns about a real commitment to change from all those taking part, the fear is that the Paris Climate Summit could end up being just a lot of hot air.